Hey guys, it's me. I'm back again. Today we're gonna discuss the Too Fast to Furious Nissan Skyline GTR. Fact number 10. The Nissan Skyline GTR for Too Fast to Furious didn't sell in the US since it didn't get the marketing branding yet during that time. Fact number 9. The Nissan Skyline that was used in Too Fast to Furious was not really a Nissan Skyline GTR, but a GTT model instead that looks like an R34. Number 8. The Nissan Skyline GTR that was used for Paul Walker was used in two different ways. One was a stunt car, the other two were destroyed, and one somehow survived, and somehow another one was built as a replica built by fans of the movies. Number 7. The Nissan Skyline R34 sound didn't sound anything like the real one, so they used a RB26 DETT V6 that was used for the film. Number 6. The Nissan Skyline sound that you hear in the film was obviously a fictional version compared to what the real sound would look like in real life. Number 5. The Nissan Skyline engine that was used for the Too Fast to Furious Skyline was switched off from a twin turbo to a single turbo since it was used to make that sound. Number 4. The Nissan Skyline was used by Paul Walker since he got the idea of driving it for the first time since it didn't take out to the US marketing brands yet. Number 3. The Nissan Skyline for Too Fast to Furious was placed on the right side since the Nissan Skyline was imported to the US since the year of 2014. Fact number 2. The Nissan Skyline crashed at the end of the first race of Too Fast to Furious but was later seen again as the GTT in Fast and Furious Part 4 which is a reboot to the 2001 movie. Fact number 1. What happened to the Nissan Skyline after that? Well, some fans found R34s around the US and decided to repaint and mimic the sounds of the real car that was used for the film as one of them had been imported or found in the junkyard or sold as a used car for the, that time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.